Hey there, this is Jo Lynn from Musings of a Housewife. Today I want to show you some different ideas for accessorizing with jewelry. I have been taking reader requests on my blog, musingsofahousewife.com, and I'm going to do a series of videos and posts on accessorizing. So I wanted to sh show you some tips today about mixing metals. I get a lot of requests about how to mix metals and do it correctly. There's really not a lot of rules right now with mixing metals. Truthfully, you can just mix metals and you don't need to get too stressed out about it. But I'm kind of a little old fogey, matchy-matchy kind of girl, so I like to do it a little more intentionally. Um, so what I like to do, my best tip, is to start with a piece that does have combined metals in it. This is the Lunar Wrap Bracelet from Stella and & Dot, and this is a fabulous piece. I love that it has a lot of sparkle to it, so it really shows off nicely, and because it's a wrap, it's a nice substantial piece that you can wear on its own, and it kind of carries itself. You can also layer, if you want to add some other pieces with it, you certainly can layer on more, but it's also just a nice piece by itself, and you already start here with gold and silver combined, and so at this point you can pretty much add whatever you want on your jewelry. So here with this silver and gold bracelet, I can easily add gold earrings or silver earrings. I could layer on another, some other gold or silver bracelets on with it. I could add as many really as I want, depending on how fancy I want to be. And then I'm, I'm all set. So that's my first uh, and best tip is uh, mixing metals, is select one piece that already has mixed metals in it. I picked up also these bangles at Sea Wonder, and it has a silver, a rose gold, and a yellow gold. And same concept, I throw these on any time and it just goes with whatever um, other metals I'm wearing. And that's a fantastic way to pull it all together. 